live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri. He is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable K. KSM show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is going to be a very, very splendid production. <laughs> and I'm telling you, call a friend to call a friend to call a friend to call a friend, you know. And when we talk about bipolar, I don't want to put it this way, but there's one person that is very well known in Ghana as having going through bipolar. Mm -hmm. And she's here with me. Mm -hmm. She's not here by herself. Mm -hmm. She's here with her uncle. Who is she that I'm talking about? I'm talking about the famous, or should I say infamous, <laughs> Abna Koko is in the house. Show us some love. <laughs> and she's here with her uncle, who is uh, Reverend Charles Apia, who is also very, very, very well informed and knows a lot about bipolar. Today, we're going to be really encouraging, not encouraging, educating you to understand what bipolar is all about. So we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, you meet Abna Koko and the uncle Charles Apia. Stick around. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. Is it the luxurious rooms? Or the serene green surroundings? Is it the tempting swimming pool? Or the classy conference room? or the cute gift shop. Maybe it's our chef's array of cooking delights. Whichever way, it's all about Cactus Creek. A most respected hotel. 055 Zero three nine five zero zero seven. The KSM Show. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Mr. Charles Apia, welcome. Let me... Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Uncle. Abla Koko. <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay. Um, I really appreciate you being here today. Thank you. We're going to do a lot of education. Thank you. And educating on what the whole bipolar thing is about. Sure. And when I was introducing my seg, the, 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 the program, I said, uh, should I say famous or infamous? <laughs> Abna Koko is here. <laughs> Abna, let me start with you. Uh, you are known for being bipolar. First of all, what is bipolar? And why do you have your uncle with you here today? <laughs> okay. So, according to... Uh, the medical school, mm. the Ghana Medical School. I had my education in UCC. I did biomedical science. I did human behavioral science as a course. Mm -hmm. We define bipolar disorder as an abnormal behavior, first of all. Abnormal behavior. behavior. Mm. When society sees that you don't conform to the norms, and culture of the society, they term you as abnormal. And I know the way science, they are always changing things. I know one day they'll come and tell us that bipolar means you are a, a god or a goddess. So they should worship us. So I know it's coming. But medically, medically, it's an abnormal behavior. 
it means um, um, it's a mood disorder that has two different poles. It's not like six o'clock, your mood will change. Or no, 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 no. It takes it's a mood a disorder. It's a mood that disorder that has two different poles. Two different poles. Meaning mania and 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 depression. So mania is when you're super excited. That's when you see me on social media telling everybody my excuse my language. F in mind. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that on TV. And that's the mania. That's the mania. I'll be shopping. I'll go to shops. I'll take, you know, everything in the shop. I'll empty my bank account. Mm -hmm. I can give all my money to my friends. You know, there are some friends who take advantage of me. You know, sometimes I was doing drugs by the help of God. You know, uh, one day at a time, I'm reducing the frequency. Okay. You know, and all of that. I've been to rehab. Okay. And all of that. So that's a mania. The and what's mania. The, what's the other side? Depression. Mania and then depression. Depression. I've actually stayed in bed for one year, bedridden. I was wearing two clothes. Me, I'm a pale life. See, I'm a You know, you some people thought I was. You were in bed, have, you were was, in bed for one year. I was bedridden for one year. You were depressed. I was depressed. Did you eat? I was not eating. I lost weight. Everybody was asking me, what's your secret? What's your secret? And can I remember by your weight loss a year? Some year from a cognosy, I was coming to do weight loss shake for them and sell it. But they didn't know it was depression. And I was like, for the fear of God, I will not do it. So you were in bed for one year for one without year. food or minimal food, I guess? I was just drinking Tampico. <laughs> Tampico for one year? Tampico. If I eat, like, my mommy will tell you. She, she doesn't like TV. I was bringing her. She was the one taking care of me. And Clemento Suarez, you come and bring me proof. I cut everybody off. Hey, you called. I've called you to tax you, but I didn't call you. My friend of my J block, pa, Captain Munna, I didn't call them. Paul, I didn't call them. Okay. Let me have a word with your uncle. Yeah. Revo. Should I call you Revo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Revo. Uncle. Please. Yeah. How many of these cases have yeah. you seen? Cases of bipolar? Well, I've, I've seen a lot. A lot. Yes. And uh, sometimes it's quite difficult to talk about some of these things mm. in terms of mentioning names or mentioning some of the instances because uh, it might be very close to what somebody might be sitting down and mm. uh, maybe thinking that oh, this, this, what this man is talking about, my issue. Mm. But I'm saying I've, I've seen a lot because most of these cases, people frown on these. And I when believe- When you say people frown? They frown. Talking about the general public? Yes, of course. They frown yeah, on because they, they, cases. They, yes, they, they don't want to have anything to do with people like that. Because they, like, you know, I've not said that this, this is a case that people within the community, they, they think that you are not behaving the way mm -hmm. you're supposed to behave. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to have anything to do with you. But I came to understand that one of the things to be able to uh, help people like that is to be closer to them. Mm. Let me tell you something. You know, if somebody is in a bad company, how would you help the person out of that bad company? Mm. How would you do that? The only way you can do that is for the one that seems to have a good life or good uh, image to be closer to that person so that you can rather draw that person closer to you. But it's, it's on the other way around. The people believe that when they, the person is acting that way, he's not acting based on what they want. You and for them. that, they shun them. And that is why we having most of these people around, the, we thought that they are causing troubles, they are not helping. I mean, these are the things that are happening in the system. And I believe that we should take advantage of this and then go closer to people like that and show them love. I know that uh, as a minister, there, there's something that is going on that obviously people believe that is a problem. When people come up to say that they are bipolar and all that stuff, you talk about people who wants to be closer to them. The ministers that go close to them, most of them do take advantage of these people mm. because of that is given as a bad name. Mm. And for that matter, if you, if you want to be closer to some of these people, in court, they think that you are also part of you those people. You want to take advantage of them eventually. Yes, absolutely. But I want to say that it's not like that. 
It's not everybody that does that. Mm. Kweku, there are people with genuine mind who are behind the scene doing great things. In fact, honestly, it's because of the respect that I have for you. That is why I honor this, because I wouldn't. Because no I have wanted to be behind the scene mm. all the time, mm. making sure I'm able to help people to get some of these things mm. done. So mm. I've been doing a lot, and I don't, I don't want so to be talking to you. So you have many cases that you have I'm dealt with? I'm telling you, yeah. yes. Okay. And, I now mean, I'll, I will do that. I will have a one-on-one -on -one with you behind sure, the scenes. Sure, sure, sure. And I will speak to you about some okay. of Okay, yes. okay. At what point did you get interested in happiness? Okay, let me mm. just quickly uh, tell you this. I kept watching the YouTube and all that stuff, and I was coming across most of the videos, and I became very sad about the whole thing because I saw Abna as somebody who has a lot of prospects. A lot of? Prospects. And she also, uh, she's very presentable and I believe that she could do a lot. But that issue has marked her in a way that is not making her able to do what she's supposed to do. So I said to myself, now listen to me, this is something I need to come in. Because you see, ministry work is like, uh, you know, a doctor, you know, somebody mm -hmm. being a doctor, mm -hmm. there are specialities. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There are specialities. If you are a minister, it, it doesn't mean that you know everything. Mm -hmm. There are areas that God has gifted you mm -hmm. that you can really mm -hmm. perform. Okay. There are certain people that they will be doing something. You will call 100 people to come and talk to them. They will not listen. You call one person to come and talk to them. They will listen. It means that person is gifted in that side. Mm. So I okay. saw that, okay, this is something I've been doing a lot and it's getting me somewhere and I'm getting a good result on that. So why don't I also jump into Abena's life and see what we can do? Did, did she invite you no. or you saw the video no, and no, you no, decided no, 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 how to no. intervene? I, I, I approached her myself. I decided to approach her because I thought that there is something that I can do to mm. help your situation. Mm. Because people think that, well, medic, medical situation is there, whatever. Mm. But the therapy is something that I think we need to dwell on. Mm. Yeah, if okay. we're talking about okay. it. Okay, yeah. just one second. Abner, yes. so when he intervened, did you trust him or did you think in your mind that people know that I'm vulnerable at this stage and they come to take or, so, or by you did you trust him right from me the beginning? I read energies and people feel I'm stupid I'm very smart and observant so if your energy is not good I can read first sometimes I like to play a fool and then pay you back later so you read his energy yeah and you, you trusted him <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. so you trusted him <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let, let's stick with the case because you are <laughs> you're creating some comic reviews for me. So you I'm trusted, learning from you. you you're learning from me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday when I'm getting some. <laughs> so 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 back to the, the yeah. issue. So when he came, what was it about him? Oh wow, ah. And when you're full, we or two, ah, but you come and come and send your castle full. Now say the aura. Two, uh, the aura. The aura. Me, I can feel the person's energy. What did he tell you the first time he came? <laughs> oh, I don't remember everything. Plus, it came like we have very mutual friends, friends okay. and family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. with I've gone to the same school with family members mm, mm. and all of that. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I go to his mm. church sometimes, and you know I built trust. Like you know, um, I when I even meet people, I don't ask too many questions. Mm. You know, mm. I like I'm very very observant, and then I know what to take to which mm -hmm. person. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So those Revo, are, okay. Those who are on court, they get, <laughs> you have I come to, hey, me come, me bow in him, and I'm from a patch of an cassa called me through. I'm bring my foolishness to your face. I can't mm -hmm. do that. So let, let me find out from Revo. <laughs> Revo, 
Uncle. Your first meeting yeah. with her yeah. to offer her that yeah. trustworthy yeah. protection yeah. that you that you believe you have naturally gifted with. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. What was your first experience? Were you convinced that you can work with her? Yeah. You can oh, my. Yeah. Absol In absolutely. Her. When we met the first time, I saw that it's something that can work. It can work because I saw her mannerism and uh, her behavior. I saw her to be a very respectful person. Yeah. Because I've met a lot of people, their first approach, you know, you are able to tell what, what they really want to do or, or the kind of communication they want to have with you. And what really made me convinced about my move to continue to be by her and help her is her ability to respond to the kind of uh, request I made. You know, let me just give you a gist of it. For example, every morning, since the time we met, every morning, mm -hmm. I send her a message to ask her whether she's done her devotion. Mm -hmm. She will do it, mm -hmm. and then she send me a, re a response. She's never miss it. Mm -hmm. She does it all the time, mm -hmm. every time mm -hmm. when I send it. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the things that I saw that if I want to help you, there is a way you also need to help me for mm. me to help you. And that is one of the things that I've observed about her. So right from the onset, I saw that she's somebody that can really, uh, I can also offer mm. help to, yeah. How long has it been since you started helping? Um, I mean, it's not been long, it's just about two, two, two months. Two months? Yeah, months. within yeah. two, three months, yes. Mm. Yeah. And so far, everything has been... Yeah, I, I think it's working out, yeah. I think it's working out because one of the things that I observed is uh, people always want to see her out there. I don't know what other people think, but I think that based on the posts and the comments that I normally read, it tells me that when she is going around doing some of the things, most people are happy with it, even though it might not be a presentable thing. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But I thought that, no, it's not that people are praising you. They are praising you, but they don't like what you're doing. They don't want your good. So I would rather find a way of communicating it to her so that she will know that, listen, I need to sit back and then start thinking about my life as to how I can put my life back on track. So these are some of the things that I kept communicating. And mm. I think mm. the response has been very, very good. Mm. And uh, one of the things I also did was that I told her, listen, well, you can stay away from social media. Stay away from social yes. media? It's one of the things that I told her straight away. Stay away from social media. Mm -hmm. Hide yourself, put yourself together. And by the time you come out, you see that There's people a difference. will see you as a different person. Uh, so are you avoiding social media now? Oh, I only post advocacy and then entrepreneurial stuff. I don't run so much. If I run small, be, <laughs> and it has to be very, very important. <laughs> What, what, what makes you, have you accepted him as somebody you can trust? Yes, Who's yes, there for your yes, yes, goodness? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, he came from Marie Labo, so it's very good references. And you have no doubt or so ever that... Oh, no, no, <laughs> I can see, you know, the aura of God, <laughs> the dove and everything. You can see the dove around <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm, saying this, I'm saying this and really revel. Oh, there are a lot of good pastors. Yes. So. There's a lot of what? There are lots of good pastors. A lot of good pastors. Yes. Okay. No, I'm saying this really hoping that, yeah, you have been actually found a good pastor yeah. who is there to help you. Yeah. And you're also going to avail yourself yeah. to understand where he's coming from and do it's, the things that will heal you. It's a team, but right now it's like... He is living, pa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, constant. <laughs> Every day, hammer. 
What are they, they, they team, they team, they are coded. They are part of the fraternity, so we can't mention the fraternity like that. As I say, you go, son. The team, the team is a fraternity. You try, you try, you Revo, I want you to explain what you just said. Because I think I'm very coded. I think she's, 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 can she's help just me trying to, she's just trying to. We are doing thank God this Friday. Just hide the names of the people that are involved in what we're trying to do. Code. Like I said earlier on, that I had even decided to just stay behind to do what I do most. But I thought that sometimes you need to come out to also uh, speak to the public, at least to know that this is what is also going on. That mm -hmm. is the reason why. So is this bipolar yeah. issue that you talked about? Yeah. At some point, there are two poles. Yeah. One is being manic, yeah. and the other is it's being depressed. Yeah. Is this a physical thing that can be worked on medically? Yeah. To, to create a balance? Yeah. yeah. Or you need a holistic, you know, a holistic, your Bible, therapy, having a good support system, so I have a support group, my NGO, Psychosocial Africa, you know, the bloggers. I even did an interview with Human Rights Watch. They don't post the important things, you know. They are cloud chasers and they like chasing coins. They don't like global money. They don't like the big, big generational wealth money. They like Louis Vuitton, even they buy fake ones. So they don't post important and relevant issues. That's why it's not every interview that I go. I'm quite selective. Seven percent me here as in same crack again, I'm boring and I'm a course I blog yes now. Someone like Zion Felix, but for the crayon quee you be you I've given you such a big platform, then you'll be asking stupid questions. So 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 when 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 a blogger is talking to you, you are aware that they are asking oh, relevant or stupid questions? I am aware, Me so I'll give it to you. Every time they say that this boy is not intelligent, why do you even go for his interviews? But sometimes it's entertaining, then you educate them because they don't know some things. Abner, let me put you on the spot for just yeah. a quick minute. Yes. You know, things that you have done, Yes. things that you have said, Yes. has been used against you. Yes. Right. Yes. These are things that you did or said that it's not that people came up with it. They were based on certain things that came from you. Yeah, Carpe Diem, since the day, live with no regrets. Carpe. I have, I have, I have low inhibitions, so I may not be able to control it. But I remember everything in my mind is working fine. I just have high levels of my happy hormones. We call them neurotransmitters: serotonin, dopamine all those things and even my medication now i'm on lithium carbonates it's worse than cocaine when i was in abokobi dr infodro your brain and mind clinic i destroyed acs used my hands to break the louvers i was cutting myself tv3 paid like over sixty thousand cities i don't know if they finished paying thank you on tv and the squad and so let me, let, before you continue, uh -huh. when, you are, when, <laughs> when you are creating damages, you are aware you're doing it. I'm aware. It's nice. You feel like Hulk. You feel like you're Hulk. So it's Hulk. not every day that I take my Revo. Like, I want, I want Revo to come <laughs> you here. See, you see, this is, this is the sad aspect of the whole thing. Uh -huh. You know, uh, the physical aspect of it is what sometimes makes me a bit sad. You know, when you ask her, she said that she is aware she's doing it. But is it the right thing? Mm. So what triggers that thing? Yes. That is the question we need yeah. to ask ourselves. Yeah. And if something... Can you answer what triggers Yes. What, I mean, if the person is there, especially when he doesn't have people who really love her to talk to her and all that stuff and feel a bit depressed, these are the times that he begins to, I mean, through tantrums and all, all that stuff. So one of the things that I think I have been telling her is a constant reminder of uh, probably good things about her. And I will just show you something. I posted something to her just yesterday. I took one of her beautiful pictures mm -hmm. and I wrote underneath it that I, I pray that God will restore your life mm -hmm. for you to look mm -hmm. like what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And okay. she came back to me and said, thank you for this important reminder. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what it means. Mm. So I'm just reminding her 
of who she is. Mm -hmm. And by so doing, if that thing continues, mm -hmm. what I believe is that it will affect the mind. Mm -hmm. And Revo, so, let me take a commercial break right thank here. You, sir. When thank we you, come uncle. back, yes, sir. we shall continue this. Bless you. Bless you. Very interesting thank discussion. You. Thank Folks, you. stick around. We're taking a short commercial <laughs> break. When we come back, we'll be here again with Revo and Abla. <laughs> stick around. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. The KSM Show. Is it the luxurious rooms? Or the serene green surroundings? Is it the tempting swimming pool? Or the classy conference room? or the cute gift shop. Maybe it's our chef's array of cooking delights. Whichever way, it's all about Cactus Creek. A most respected hotel. 055 Zero three nine five zero zero seven. Hi, my name is Angela Meto, a massage therapist at Cactus Creek. My job is simply to pamper you with the three hours, to relax you, to revitalize you, and to rejuvenate you. Come and let me pamper you. We are offering a 10% discount off on all products and services, including spa, to all women during the month of March. 055 5007 Most of you are loving my jacket. Mr. Sao, I am a rough. Mr. Sao, I The jacket is provided by Asepa Essentials. So if you want some, this is the number to call. 0247-661983. So call as a pa and get yourself a pretty decent jacket. KSM show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we're back on this very, very, very exciting episode of the mm -hmm. KSM show. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at bipolar. We have in the house Abna Koko, mm -hmm. uh, who's known as having bipolar. And her uncle Revo, I'm calling her him Revo. <laughs> actually Reverend. I love that. You like Revo? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Revo. Yes. Sir. Um, well, before the commercial break, yes, you talk. You talked about how you sent her a picture. Yeah. To remind her of yeah. what she has been before. Yeah. Who she is. Yeah. Is that a way to try to get you to connect? Yeah, ab absolutely. With that's. I think that's one of the uh, ways that we can use to bring people's mind back on, on track, you know, because, you know, when somebody has done something before and then the person has lost it, one of the ways is to bring her mind or his mind back on it. That this is who you used to be. 
And uh, if you want to experience what you used to experience, then you need to come back to life. Okay. You have to come back. Abraham, you saw that picture of who you used to be and how did that affect you? I felt good. My skin was beautiful. I was light. Tell me, I don't bleach. I just use shea butter and coconut oil. So you felt good about the picture? I felt good about it. I'm like, okay, I'm coming back to myself. Like, my body is coming me. I'm a delicious girl, bodacious. And in Africa, most they like body. See all the way all the guys are smiling. Get faces here anyway, friend, Tama. So you, 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 the picture took you back somewhere in your yeah. life where you thought my, it was you actually had my 30th birthday. I had just got to my appointments with TD3. Yeah. Are you still with TD3? Yeah, I'm still with TD3. I'm on their payroll. You're on their payroll? Yeah. What program do you host there? I'm in corporate communications, production and sales. I work behind the scenes. Oh, so you're not in, on, on, on camera? Okay, so I have a show coming up. We've done the promo and everything. They sometimes they feel I'm a little local, so they want me <laughs> to be okay before they put me on the screen. Mm. But I have a surprise for them. Mm. Mm. Ravu, yes, sir. how confident do you feel that whatever strategy you're employing is now working and then and that we can finally say that yeah. she is on the mend? Right. Can we I'm, say I'm that? very, very confident. I'm confident because, you know, when you begin to discuss something with somebody and you see signs of the person's response, it tells you where you are heading towards. You know, mm -hmm. so based on the response and uh, the way things are going, I believe we are getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, very confident that by God's grace, we will get there. People will see. It doesn't bother you that it's no, 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 only no. three months no, no. and that there's some shocker. No, no. Somewhere. You know, sometimes you, you, will not, you will not get what you want straight away, which is part of the work we're doing. What you did know? you see? There, there, are, there are people that... <laughs> You know, you follow them and it takes you five years, mm. two years, mm. three years. There are people that when you speak to them, just three months, they, they accept you, you know. But it, because of the time differences and the, the period, you should understand that you're not going to get it the way you want it mm. all the time. Mm. So you need patience to be able to handle every situation that confronts mm. you. Mm. Yeah, I think that that's, that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. Abraham, you asked me what I said, so I repeat what I yeah. said. Ask him. Hey, you know, shocker. Is there a shocker somewhere hey, along the line? You drink shocker. Are, are we safe? You now? drink shocker. Huh? You drink shocker. Do I what? One day I drank, the first time I drank shocker, four bottles. I went to break bed at ENS. <laughs> me and some guy be from Casa I won't mention his name. No, don't mention his name. <laughs> I don't want anybody to come and sue me. Like, hey, Sam, why they can't I can't what? see if it's the truth. I'm sharing my life story. <laughs> you, when you came, you did only good things. I, I can't go and say anything bad about you. What will I say? And that I one, you can sue me. <laughs> that one, you can sue me. Those so, who, who wanted me to say bad things about it, they came to do the bad things. Mm. 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 So, Pacho, Tio, when they are doing the bad things, uh. why do you let them? Why don't you stop them? Oh. Or why do you let them do the bad things? And then after Out that... Out of curiosity, I want to watch how far they will go. How, how stupid they think I am. And, and after you've watched them go I read for eight lots of power when I was like 14 or so. <laughs> As of war, I like a, what do you call it, Japanese and Chinese dynasties. I read my Bible, I read my Psalms, Quran, Hindu, you know, I chant, I meditate, I have some small Freemasons somewhere in there. So you do all of them? Oh, I'm curious, I'm a scientist, I do research. Rebel. I like philosophy. You're listening to her right now. Oh, yeah, what is mythology. going through your mind? <laughs> you know, I, I came to understand that a mixture of so many things also bring confusion to the mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of the things that I think I'm trying to urge her to do is to be able to set her mind on one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because bringing all kinds of things around may confuse you, may not give you the free will to understand mm -hmm. what the life you are leading is about. And, 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 and is that an accepted part of being bipolar?
yeah, or something that it. can be controlled? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, in that sense, it, it's part of it. But I think that on this earth, there's nothing that you can't do anything about it. Mm. Everything has a solution. Even if you cannot solve it completely, there is a way of doing something to limit it. You understand? So whether it comes as part of it or not, I believe that we can still do something about it. Mm. And that is the reason why mm. I've decided to go through this process. Yeah. Mm. With that. yeah. Mm -hmm. Abraham, how long is he going to work on you? You are start worrying you. you see, when you see my call, you run away. May I really worry, Papa? I <laughs> come and see me. Abraham. He's trying to help you. You, yes. that. you introduced him to me. Yes. I didn't know him. Yes. <laughs> huh? You call me Stop and say, you. Oh, boy. He's a stubborn and me. Who will introduce you? He said he understands uh, yeah. and he's helping you. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 yeah. Eh? Uh, yeah. and so now that you understand that he's helping you, yes. how are you making him confident that uh, oh. he's, he's on the right Tell track? Tell me, I'm a kid, I'm a kid, I'm a kid. And I'm a very woman, I'm a kun to kana feli ajana. Ubi e chana ya sendi amano. But in kakanga class, one day, one day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all of us. So you believe you're on the mend? Oh, I'm on the mend. Me, 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 Through all the changing things of life. And if you have to say, Olua is my helper. It's in kakanga class. <laughs> Rebu, uncle, uh, uh, <laughs> is there a spiritual angle to this? Uh, well, I mean, when you want to talk about this and you want to bring spirituality into it, a lot of people don't understand. They think that no, 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 don't bring spirituality into these things. But on this earth, there is nothing that doesn't have a spiritual backing. It's a very clear thing. In fact. This is something that everybody should understand. Everything that happens physically obviously has a spiritual backing. Yeah. It so happened in this. What spirit. is your assessment of the spiritual angle? Okay. Yes, All right. So, <laughs> but my assessment on that side is you know, every issue has a, a source. You understand? What you are experiencing. Here, mm -hmm. they didn't start one day. Mm -hmm. That's one thing you should understand. Mm. So it is possible mm. that it may have a, a family link. We might not know. Yeah. So something could could have happened that has resulted into that. But I don't want to go into details. No, I understand. That, I understand. Because yeah, there's understand. so much that. I understand. <laughs> so how up. long do you think, with the experience that you have? Yeah. And you have encountered a yeah. few other cases. Yeah, sure. Yeah. With all that experience, yeah. how long do you think it will take to nail that, ah, this is what I'm looking for? Is there a, such a thing like that? Well, no, normally you cannot come out straight away to give uh, a particular timeline. But you can set it for yourself. Mm. If I tell you. The means are, I'm, I'm telling you it's going to take one year mm. and then you put me online that mm. okay in the next one year this is the results that we we need to mm -hmm. see as mm. far as uh, what Rev is saying is concerned but the point is that if it gets to that point and you don't see what you are mm -hmm. looking for mm. you might tell me that I have failed in have what failed. I'm doing you accomplished exactly you, but yeah. that is something that you don't bring it into these circles. That's why I said that. You know, there are people that have followed them for more than 10 years really? before they became well established in Christianity. Yes, more than 10 years. I had that faith, that belief, that trust and still continue to follow them. Sometimes you go and they are smoking, they are doing this, they are doing that patiently have a word with them, pray with them, and you go quietly. You know, there was a time I went to a beer bar to minister to some young people. When I got there, one of the guys, he was about to drink, and you look at my face, he says, Rev, let me take my last glass <laughs> before I surrender. 
you know. These are funny, funny things that happens when we meet people like that. But what can you do? What is the reason why you've gone there? Are you there to force the person out of what he's doing? No. You are there to encourage that person, to bring him out mm. of that situation. So that patience is needed. You need that patience. And also, one thing that I want to say is that every minister needs self-control. Mm. That is also very important. Self-control. Yes, 100%. If you know you don't have the strength to do certain things, don't go there at all. There are people, I remember some time ago, I overheard somebody saying that he doesn't hug women. Uh, a minister? Yeah, a minister said that. He said he doesn't hug women. Yes, and you know, I don't have a problem with him. People started bashing him, you know, it's not right to say that. But well, I don't have a problem with him. Why? Because I got to understand that that is his weakness. Mm. You when he hugs, he leaves yes, for other things. that is his weakness, so he doesn't want to go there at all. Mm. There's somebody... You can, maybe you might be a minister, but when he set, he set his eyes on the uh, uh, drinking spot, or when he enters there now, we have to carry him on a stretcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is his weakness. Mm -hmm. He's not supposed to go there at all. Mm -hmm. But when you get to know that God has given you the urge and the strength to be able to do something, and you can do it, why not? Mm -hmm. You should be able to do it because you are there to help the people. Mm -hmm. Rovo, what's your weakness? Oh, well, I mean, I'm very emotional about when I see people uh, being limited in things like uh, people don't have money, they don't have something. So I don't mind taking everything on me, like money. I don't mind emptying my account and giving it to people. I think to me, is a weakness on my side. Yeah. So I'm trying to sometimes to be a little bit hard that no 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 this one i need to be careful mm. not to not because the person look quite i mean that playing emotional games that you need to respond to that it's not everything that you need to respond to that mm. there are some you need to close your ears on that mm. so mm. that is another part okay I mean, I noticed that when he's talking, you have a very serious face. <laughs> you listen, I listen very, very attentively. It's wisdom. But when, when I direct the question at you, then you make it the whole, you make, you make it light and laugh. Why? Eh. Oh, you know me, I like comedy. You like comedy? Eh. <laughs> I come for training. You come for training? Eh. Thank God it's Friday. Inspired by KSF. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I, okay. Now you have uh, Revo here, and he is here seriously talking about how he's going to set you straight. Oh, yes. So he is not, he's not being, he's not doing comedy at uh, all. He, me, ah, you and I'm fooling, I'm serious. Everything I say, I'm serious. So some people think I'm joking. But you're serious. I'm serious. Nobody pays me. When I say something, people they say, oh, the government has sent me money. I me, mean, I did forensic uh, science, cyber security, I know all those things. <laughs> so me, I know that when somebody wants to sue me, I need to come. You know I've had a federal case before. <laughs> so when the feds are coming for you, when I'm coming for you, trust me, I'll come in with ammunition. <laughs> Russia, come. Okay, so, so, so you brought Revo in to beat me yes. as somebody who is guiding you. Yes. And keeping you yes. on the straight and narrow. Ah, is that what he's doing? Army of Israel. <laughs> and uh, I confirm not three soldiers. Come on. Yes, Uncle. <laughs> you must be used to this. Yes, Does he always make light of no, things? No, 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 no. <laughs> I've never seen her like seriously. No, no, I, I see her in that mood. But the, when it gets to serious issues, we sit down. And I tell her straight away, this is what we need to do. Because I want to get the results. And he's straight to Yeah, so blasting. when it gets to that <laughs> point, I tell her this and this and this and that. That's it. And then I leave. And I'm expecting her to do her part. Mm. That's it. Mm. Yeah. What are your assessments so far? You, let's say after this, you yeah. go and you are telling her, yeah. look, when we went to the KSM show, yeah. we say, we say. <laughs> what, 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 how would you review her appearance on the hey, KSM show now? It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? of course, I mean, uh, there are things that I thought that he could have taken it more serious based on the question you are asking her. So that's one, obviously, is one of the things that we need to sit down 
to this council. Mm. Yes, of course. Did you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, I'm supposed to be doing interviewing skills. <laughs> I have to refresh my notes. <laughs> and he's, he was hoping that there were some of the things you would have taken a bit more serious than make it into a... The young good people, they don't, if you don't make it comical, they won't learn. <laughs> no, they but don't if read you make books. It, if you make it too comical, too, they don't learn. That's so, right. no, the dear girl. No, me, I make them. This one, I've given her a lot of lecture notes <laughs> to read. Uh, she has to Google you. <laughs> Folks, we are hugging her with a black of four. And uh, she actually called me and said, okay, so I've been on your show once. We're talking about bipolar issues. Because, because bipolar is a day is coming up. Yeah. I want to come on the show again so yeah. that we can continue with our education. Yeah. You know. So I must admit, I, I, I was a Expecting to be serious part <laughs> because the first listen the first time you were on do you remember yes you were very serious yes. yeah. and that was the first time that you had me understanding yeah. bipolar because yes. you were very serious you explained it you now, have even talk I'm, re I'm in recovery poco a poco okay. you are in recovery now yes okay yes. Uh, yeah I know you're oh but check my man you see mm. hell you'll be nurturing <laughs> uh -huh. So, so, I mean, I may my home, my uncle, will be a demon, but I want to just clean to be a Uba. I'm a money home chilling. I'm a uncle's cuba, baby. Revo, you see, it's one of the things that we have also spoken about. Yeah, because I observed that most of the interviews that he has been having, some of the questions that they ask. It's not right. It's not good. They just say in, in a form of trying to, I mean, get something, trigger something. Trigger something. And on course of that, she also happened to say something that might go wrong and people start, I mean, you know what I mean, yeah. talking and all kinds yeah. of things. So it's one of the things that uh, recently he had uh, an appointment he will tell you. And when she sent the poster to me, I watched it and I told her, you are not going for this mm. interview. Mm. Because even the, the topic they gave you, mm. it's not right. Mm. It's quite sensitive. And obviously it's going to trigger certain things. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem comes in. Mm. You know? So when I said it, she understood it. Mm. And I communicated with the people that were supposed to do the interview. They understood me. Mm. And they said that that's fine. Uh, it means we're not going to have it. Because I want to make sure, as much as I want to help, there are very important things that we need to put down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that at least we will be getting somewhere. Okay. And that's, that's the, the, the format that I want okay. to take. Yeah, sure. Well, Revo, let me let me commend you. Thank you. Uncle. It's 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 a yoman's job, Thank you know. You. She has said herself, yeah. you know, that she's coming from bipolar bipolar yeah. background with yeah. two extreme ends, yeah, sure. and how we're going to navigate between right. these two poles yeah. to get her straight yeah. is not an easy job. Absolutely. But I'm happy to yeah. learn yeah. that you have devoted yourself yeah. to making sure, sure that you can accomplish it. Yeah. And she has a trust you. Even when she came, I said, can we start until you can? Right. I said, no, 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 I want him to be here yes, right. yeah. so that he can be a part of the conversation Absolutely. from the start. That's right. Which gives me the impression that she's aware that she's on the men yeah. and she knows what the boundaries are. Yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah. Abuna Koko. <laughs> <laughs> eh? So keep staying on the men. I beg you. I can see the fufu na me kwa mo said so. I say ye the fufu na me kwa. We the mini rebo be bon komo. On catch him say say the chale abuna wo wae correct. Me and me fro say ye go di fufu. Was set no so. Eh? Yes. It ye correct mami. I was say. Me fro. I was say. Eh? What say? Bravo. Thank you so much. Thank you uncle. And uh, stay blessed. Bless, bless you too. And, um, Thank you. I appreciate so, Abna Koko, Mr. Thank you for coming. What was wrong with your leg? My leg? 
Yes, I should I bring a walking stick? I have the two one. No, I don't need a walker. <laughs> okay. I go running every morning. Oh. Yeah, I saw you at the gym. <laughs> oh, that was long ago. Um, mm -hmm. But you have no pain. That's for pain. When you reach my age, yeah, of and you wake up and you don't have a pain, you must be worried. <laughs> <laughs> my last drug before we one have? time, one time, <laughs> one time, Revo, I walked out. I said, I'm fine. See, something is wrong. Let me catch you my wife. <laughs> Something wrong with yeah. him. See, I feel absolutely fine. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's right. 20 minutes later, <laughs> my waist started hurting me. <laughs> what did you use that way? No, 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 we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> then we're talking. That's then we're right, talking. That's right. Then I know I'm an old man. That's right. I know you're fluid in the finish. Damn it. <laughs> so thank you very much for, thank you, for coming. Really, really appreciate you. My as pleasure, well. my pleasure. Really my pleasure. But you do for it, I don't want to read any headlines to be asked. Or be your rough. I don't want to the, end the airline. You can't have a mirror for the airline. I'm not saying. 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 I'm not sa